Hey guys, I'm Gebhard Barent and welcome to Empower Church YouTube or online e-family. If you haven't yet done so, I want to encourage you to become part of our e-family or our online family. And I want to encourage you today to, well, first and foremost, hit that subscription button and become part of the family. Secondly, hit that bell button and in doing so, you will never miss a teaching, a sermon on anything that we are doing across South Africa and across the globe. Then also, I want to introduce you to my new website, www.gebardbarrent.com. And there will be a pop-up that will appear right now. And for convenience sake, you can just click on that and that will reroute you to our website. And I want to encourage you to partner with us. Partner with us in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Partner with us as we take the message of Jesus to the ends of the earth and doing our share in seeing people coming to Jesus. There's no greater revelation, there's no greater joy than seeing people becoming part of the family of God, becoming part of that what Jesus is doing in this final hour as people get saved. But today, it's my honor to break up in the word of the Lord again to you and for you so that they, there may be a revival of the Bible in your life. And I want to speak to you about Ephesians chapter number 2. And we're going to go to verse number 4. I want to explain to you grace. I want to explain to you the grace of God. And I want to go into depth about what is the grace of God. And there's a lot of a lot of hidden truth secrets. I want to say and golden nuggets that the Lord puts in the scripture for us. And it's our great joy to go and see what the Lord has said to us and is saying to us still about his unchanging word. So Ephesians chapter 2 verse number 4 says this, But God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, verse number 5, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Please note that. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now verse number 4 is very important for us. And I want you to see there right from the start. It says the words, but God. Now when you see the words, but God, nevertheless, or for example the word, therefore. It is a place of transition. In other words, the writer is transitioning. He is about to introduce you to a very important topic. In other words, whenever you see these words, but God, therefore, or hence, or very, very, this is very important places in the Bible. And you can literally take a highlighter pen and whenever you see this, if you see these words, but God, therefore, you need to underline that and you need to note what the writer is going to say next. Because what he's about to say next is very important for us. And listen to what he says. He says, But God who is rich in mercy because of His great love with which He loved us. But God who is rich in mercy. Now, I want you to underline that word mercy. That word mercy means to do something for someone that they can't do for themselves. Again, I say it means to do something for someone that they can't do for themselves. So, when the Bible says God is rich in mercy, it means that God did something for us that we couldn't do for ourselves. What couldn't we do for ourselves? We couldn't save ourselves. And because we couldn't save ourselves, God had to have mercy on us. But now I want you to see something for, be, well, something with that. And it's simply this. Um, and it re, I'm going to read it again. Who is rich in mercy because of his great love i want you to see god had mercy because of his love in other words you can understand it like this god demonstrate his act of mercy and his act of grace because he is in love or another way that i can say this like this god will demonstrate his power because he is in, lo in love liken it to an example and i want to create a, a picture for you that you can catch the understanding of what the scripture means in depth if a child of mine falls into the water and they are in desperate need of help i will exercise all of my power because the object of my love is in trouble my child is in trouble 
And because my child is in trouble, I will exercise all of the necessary power to rescue, save, and safeguard them. Hence, the scripture needs to now become even brighter for you. It says this, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love. In other words, God is in love. And because the Lord is in love, He made available His saving grace. And let's go on. It says in verse number 5, Even when we were dead in our trespasses and sins, even when we were dead in our trespasses and sins, made us alive together with Christ. Hallelujah. By grace you have been saved. Now the word grace here is the word charis, and it means the unmerited favor of God. I want you to see here, you and I have no credentials to give God any reason to save us except through Jesus Christ. And then the Bible goes on and it says God made us alive together with Christ. And listen to this verse number 6. And He raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The scripture is beautiful. It means that you and I are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Now, to understand that, let me explain this to you. Your location is the earth because you live on the earth, but your position is in Christ. And because your position is in Christ, you are both a king and a priest, according to Revelations 1 and verse number 5. Now, this is important for us to understand because this outrageous love of God positioned us in Christ Jesus. And Jesus is the highest authority in heaven and on earth and under the earth. In actual fact, the Bible says, And His name every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that He is Lord. Now, you need to know this. You have a higher position than the devil because you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You do not fight for victory. You fight from victory in your position in Christ. In Jesus Christ, you are declared righteous. In Jesus Christ, you are declared justified. In Jesus Christ, you are declared holy. You see, Jesus didn't just die for us. He died as us and He became our sin. And because He became our sin, we become His righteousness. Because He became my guilt, I become free. Because He became my shame, I can become His peace. Are you understanding? This is the joy of the gospel. Jesus did it all. And you and I can walk in the freedom of Jesus Christ. And that that Jesus did for us. But again, I want you to see something and I want you... There we are even to praise the Lord because the riches of the scripture really shows us that Jesus did it all. Therefore, there's no reason to boast. There's no reason even to brag because what did we really do? We did absolutely nothing except receiving Jesus Christ as Lord. Therefore, the Bible says in 1 John 4 verse number 17, as He is, so are we in this world. You see, the Father is just looking, are you in Jesus? And when you are in Jesus, you are justified. When you are in Jesus, you are declared righteous. When you are in Jesus, you are declared guiltless. My friends, it's all because of Jesus. But let's read the scripture again as I summarize. But God, this is a place of transition. You always need to know there will always be a moment in your life or many moments in your life where you have but God moments. May the enemy never know that he has the upper hand in your life, never ever, because you have but God moments. You have a God that will simply intervene, which is rich in mercy. In other words, he's going to save you, help you. He's going to come to your need and he's going to give you grace, grace that you do not deserve but you receive because Jesus took our guilt, took our shame, took our blame, and now we become His righteousness. Aren't you thankful that Jesus Christ came? Lastly, maybe to say it like this, we have no reason to boast. Our boasting becomes nullified if we understand what Jesus did. It's all about Jesus. It will always be about Jesus. It will always stay about Jesus. And everything that the Father started, is because of Jesus. Aren't you thankful that you are in Jesus? And today, as you listen to this to this video, 
I want you to be encouraged that you are saved by grace. You didn't do anything to deserve it. It is simply because of Jesus. And maybe lastly, I want you to note is God the Father is in love with you. And because He's in love with you, Jesus is in love with you. And because Jesus is in love with you, He gave you Himself. And because He gave you Himself, when He removed or when He went to the Father, He gave you His Spirit. And now you and I have the opportunity, Romans chapter 5 and verse number 5, to be baptized in the Spirit of love and to once again let the earth understand that the Father loves the world. The Bible says that God so loved the world. The Bible does not say for God so loved the church. No, He empowered the church, but He loved the world. And because He loved the world, He empowered the church. The church is the ecclesia. Ek means out, kaleo means called. Put those two words together. It means the called out ones. You and I are the called out ones, but God wants the world. That's why He chose a group of people, you and I, the church, and He empowered us through the person of the Holy Spirit and He sent us on an assignment. What is the assignment? It is the world. God wants the world back. God wants His kids back and He wants it back through His grace. Remember Zechariah chapter number 4 verse number 6 is not by might nor by power but by the Spirit of the Lord. Aren't you happy that you are saved by grace? Well, today as you've listened to this teaching, I want to encourage you again, please subscribe, please like, please hit that bell button, become part of our online family. Also, please visit www.gebarbaron.com and become part of our partner family. And in doing so, you help us take the gospel further, wider, deeper, and to reach more people. May the Lord bless you and keep you and keep on watching out for new content. We are constantly putting content out as the hour draws near that we will soon see the Lord. And so we want to see His word going across the earth. Help us in doing that. May you be blessed and keep on watching out for more information.